welcome back to another video. Today we'll be doing Lab 9-3, Comprehensive Case 2, Dillard's Stored Data. And in this case, we're calculating the sales tax for Dillard's State Part 2, compare year over year. In this lab, we will calculate total sales across all Dillard's store year over year and month over month in order to compare sales tax paid across periods. So we're going to compare 2014, 2015, and 2016 sales tax data across states in parallel periods. So before we can analyze the data, we're going to go ahead and open up Excel per usual. And in Excel, we're going to extract the data from a SQL server. So data, get data from database from SQL server database. So to address this question, we're going to go ahead and put in my server information as well as my database and my SQL statement. So I'm going to go ahead and key this in and I will resume the video. All right, so I've gone ahead and included my SQL statement as well as my server information. I'm just going to select OK. Connect. and allow it to load. Looks like I made a, may have made an error when keying in my statement. So I'm just going to review my statement and try again. Okay, so I had accidentally put in transact with lowercase as opposed to uppercase letters. So I'm just gonna hit okay there. Oh, actually I also did not put Walton. I put Walton. Walton. So let's do Walton. All right. So once my information is loaded, I'm going to go ahead and select load for it to load into Excel. I'm going to allow that to load now. Once my information has loaded, I'm going to go ahead and include two columns, one of them being the state tax rate. I'm going to go ahead and do that one first. State tax rate. And the next one is going to be state tax owed. Can't spell. There we go. Tax, state tax owed. Once again, I'm going to highlight, control, double click on the edge. And I'm going to go ahead and do that for both. OK, now we're going to use a VLOOKUP in our state tax sales table to populate the tax rate column. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my state tax rate document. I believe it should be in my it should be in my downloads. And it should be labeled. Hmm. Maybe it's not in here anymore. Did I put it in documents? Oh, here we go. Um, one second, please. Okay, it's actually chapter nine, state tax, uh, state sales tax. So uh, I found my document. I'm gonna go ahead and control shift down and over, control C, and open up my table. And I'm gonna go ahead and just add this information right next to it. So once again, I'm gonna go ahead and looks like my states may not be aligning here, so I'm going to put my states from A to Z. Oh, actually, I'm not sure that one time. That's okay. I'm just going to leave it as this. And we're going to use a VLOOKUP now. So I'm going to go ahead and include my VLOOKUP formula. Okay, so my VLOOKUP formula is just saying that the lookup value is the state from this table right here, table one to be specific and you want the column index number to be two. And we are going to use false um, because you want an exact match. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add in another formula 
to estimate the sales, uh, the state tax owed. To do this, I'm gonna go ahead and put in, um, I'm gonna go ahead and key this in. We want rounded numbers to start off. So I'm gonna go ahead and say equals round sales. Oh, we definitely need that in there. Sales. I'm gonna put an S in there. Sales amount. Oh, my little bracket here. That's important. Sales amount. Sales amount. Closing bracket. We're going to multiply that by the state tax rate. And I need another closing bracket there. We're going to do zero. Okay, so now uh, we have calculated the state tax owed by year and by state. Okay, so now we're gonna move into part three, which is perform the analysis. So in order to do this, I'm gonna go to uh, the insert tab right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on pivot table. And we're gonna go ahead and insert a pivot table. So in order to do this, we're gonna ensure that the data is from query run, sorry, query one, new worksheet and click okay. So in order to view how state, state sales tax owed changed in each state from 2014 to 2015, I'm gonna go ahead and add in, I'm gonna, first of all, I'm gonna move my pivot table information because I usually have a hard time seeing this because I do have a smaller screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and so let's move and kind of shift this up a little bit. And where's my pivot table? One second and just elongate my corners a little bit so that I can see more information. So now I will, I'm gonna go ahead and include the state to the row section. And I'm gonna put the year, Right there, the year in the column section and the state tax owed in the value section. Set um, state tax owed, state tax owed right here in the value section. Okay. And I'm just going to make sure that this is actually summarized by some. I'm going to value field settings, and of course it is summarized by some. Okay. So to limit the years viewed, I'm gonna click on the drop down next to column labels. And I'm gonna unselect the check mark next to 2016. Now I can only view information for 2014 and 2015. So now we're gonna move on to part four, which is address, refine, and communicate the results. So um, the filter data provides the information we need to see the Dillard's owed, uh, that Dillard's owed more um, or less state, tells, state sales tax into, from 2014 to 2015. However, it would be easier to understand by cleaning up the data included by using a visualization. So the grand totals don't add important information for analysis in this pivot table. So we're gonna go ahead and remove them. To do that, we're gonna go to the pivot table. I'm gonna move this over a little bit. And I'm gonna go into the design tab. And 
we're going to click on the grand totals. Um, right here. And I'm going to turn them off for rows and columns, like such. Now to visualize the data, we're gonna add spark lines next to each state number. So I'm gonna go ahead and place my cursor in D5. And from the insert tab, we're gonna click line. Right here. And from the spark line section, we're gonna add a spark line. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and select the places where we want our spark lines. And for the location range, we're gonna go ahead and select the cell where we want our spark line to go ahead and appear, which in this case is D5. And I'm gonna go ahead and wait. Should be, oh, sorry, B5 to C5, just for that one, for now. Okay, now once you have it on one, I'm gonna go ahead and double click there. Or drag down, actually, in this case, for it to go ahead and include a spark line for the rest of my values. Okay, so these spark lines now tell us how the state tax owed has changed year over year for each state. And in this case, particularly we're just des uh, describing 2014 and 2015. So this is the end of lab 9-3. Comprehensive case two, Dillard store data, calculate sales tax for Dillard state part two, compare year over year. Thanks for watching.